Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 21 of my <laughs> Alpha 17 experimental uh, <laughs> Seven Days to Die Let's Play. Um, yeah, I just had a, a screamer walk up. Um, she was um, she was taking a different path than uh, I can't get that arrow. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I was trying to um, figure out maybe a, a way that I could, um, you know, sort of herd the zombies in a little bit more. So I think, uh, but anyway, I had a screamer show up and she pathed, she pathed in such a way that she went towards the door and I just, I, I don't know why, but I was having problems targeting, uh, landing arrows on her. So, uh, yeah, she wound up seeing me and called a bunch of buddies in for reinforcement. There were some ferals. Uh, they did a little bit of damage over here. Took down some spikes. Come in over here. And then, uh... Did, uh, started pounding on the outer wall, which... Hey, that's okay with me because wood is a lot cheaper than, <laughs> than uh, the cement. So, yeah, they destroyed a couple of these wood blocks. Uh, over here and over there. So let's get those uh, replaced. That's why I was thinking maybe I might upgrade these. Um, but I made some fence uh, and I was out here thinking, uh, where did I put that on the outside? Yeah, like this. And like I said, these aren't just, you know, for structure, they're for hurting purposes. Um, to sort of keep them from coming over here and tearing up my ladders. <laughs> um, I thought about maybe making it narrower over here and going all the way over, but... Um, I don't think I actually can. I think I can't put a block there anyway. Uh, so, um, in the off chance that something happens and I fall down on the other side, I want to make sure I leave a path for me. Uh, but I'm hoping that the zombies stick to their pathway of, you know, going up the middle, going through the corner. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Going through to the corner, which is um, where I want them to go. That's where I want. Oh, nerds! I did a lot of gathering through the night. Um, I didn't really have an incident till I. <laughs> it was morning time, and uh, I decided I would go get. <sighs> okay, it actually placed it where I wanted to place it. So that's good. Uh, it's easier to place them on this side because then you can just look at the panel below it and then it places it. So that's good. Uh, looks like we're going to need some more. Uh, I did up some more. Dang it. Uh, so this way we'll be able to um, access that. And I'm hoping that they'll see the nearest route as going through the corner and they won't come over here. <laughs> That's the plan anyway. Uh, yeah, so um, I did uh, wind up having enough iron to uh, make that steel shovel and that helped. Um, I still can't one shot the gravel can one shot the sand gravel but I can't one shot the gravel uh, the normal gravel 
So here's our table saw queued up a whole bunch over here. And uh, this is like what I wound up with over the night. Uh, I went in, chopped down a bunch of trees. I had over 5,000, but I've used some of them to make the wood fence and wood frames. Uh, I wound up with, wow, 5,200 stone. Uh, I dug down uh, another level. I started the, um, I think it's the third sub level. This is one, this is two, yeah, and now this is three. I got quite a bit of it dug. Almost got this uh, half done. Mostly it's gravel, but there is, this is like, um, this is the nitrate deposits there. Uh, I haven't seen any iron down here so far. It's all been nitrate and gravel and it looks like maybe this might be the last section where the gravel is because a lot of the ground was rock so um if i'm hunting for iron i might want to you know head out this way because i think that was where we found the iron before i don't want to dig up here uh because uh, oh yeah, I, I didn't have an incident until, like I said, after daytime. And I went over to the sand pit. Um, let me show you what these idiots did. Like, I don't know how they got um, zeroed in on me so far away. Oh, oh, because my tunnel is... Um, I don't know, four, five, six levels underground, but I am tunneling that way. And I heard zombies up um, shuffling around, but I could, it was sort of muffled, so I knew they were a little bit of ways. So I came up to investigate, and there was a zombie uh, milling about up here when I came up. So I took care of him, but I still heard zombie sounds. Speaking of zombies, um, Let's go have a chat with these guys. Meet my new machine. Oh. See, I really like how fast this is. Uh, and that it, it doesn't take as much stamina. So it doesn't matter if I miss once or twice. It's not going to, you know, drain me dry. But anyway, while I was, I, I still heard them. So I was like, where the, where's it coming from? I looked over here. I didn't see anything. And the idiots had started digging straight down right here. So, yeah, that's no good. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade those. So maybe they, it might take them a little bit longer to uh, get down there next time. I might need to just fill this in uh, so that they don't decide to path over there. So, yeah, that's what happens when they spot you when you're underground. And that was during the day. Uh, I'm glad I didn't, uh, I don't go over there at night because if they did that at night and they came through and they're running and I'm I'm down there mining, I would have been totally uh, unprepared for an assault. Ooh, gotta look out for those landmines. Uh, but anyway, it is horde night. I want to try to get these barricades up just to see how how well it works, if it's going to work at all, uh, if they're going to path around and destroy my ladders anyway. Oh my gosh. Hopefully they won't. Um... So yeah, I'm, I'm a bit nervous about this Horde Night. The last one I got, um, I thought I was doing okay until um, the end 
I thought it was going to end at like 2 o'clock. Maybe that's only for the very first ones. Maybe it starts going longer the further in you get. I don't know. I've never played Alpha 17 before. So. <laughs> oh, we're going to have to destroy you. Sorry. Awesome. Okay. So I have no idea what's coming. Uh, last time we had uh, the first one, we had like four cops on our first night and a vulture. The vultures aren't that bad. The th I think the second night, uh, the second horn night, we had a couple of vultures and one of them was like radiated. Uh, but by then we had the overhang, so uh, it's it's a little bit harder for them to dive bomb us if they can't come straight down. So they got to come at us on on our level, so we can um, better deal with them. Awesome. Okay, so there we go. We got some more barricades up. And this way we can, if we do fall down out here or in there, we can make our way <laughs> hopefully around here. It's going to be hard to get through these traps though. If we do happen to fall down in here, we might be in trouble. Uh, so we might have to rethink these traps in the corners. I don't know. Maybe we should make the openings on this side closer to the ladder. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it's going to go. And we can't like place a block here. So we can't completely cut them off. I wonder, can you still get by? Yeah, so we can leave it one gap and still get by. And maybe, uh, since there is a block here, maybe they won't even see it as an opening. Uh, but it's something that we could go through. That would be nice. Since there's technically a block there, yeah. We're getting... At least it breaks in one hit. So we'll see. We'll see how this works. Uh, if it works as intended. Um, like I said, I'm not sure how how we're gonna perceive the pathing until they actually do it. They usually go for the weakest point in the defenses. So that's the thing. All right, looks like we got it all the way around. So that is really awesome that they're attacking these outside blocks. Um, we might go ahead and like upgrade these to the second tier of wood since they are uh, attacking them. This might provide a little bit further distraction for them. Keep them busy for a few seconds longer attacking our, our wooden defenses. So there aren't really even defenses. They're just a distraction for the zombies. So that might take them a second or two the longer to get through. Uh, but yeah, they come in, they see, uh, like I said, they seem to see the weakest point in your defenses and go for it. Uh, so before they were coming to the middle to get to that part in the middle where I don't have the double bars. Um, so... Now they're coming into the middle and they're wailing on our uh, wooden boards here. It's 
instead of going for the concrete, which I'm okay with that. They can punch holes in this wall all they want. Uh, that's fine with me. I'm okay with that. All right, we got all of those uh, upgraded. That's good. Uh, it's horde night, guys. It's horde night. Um, what I might want to do is make some more wood frames real quick. Um, oh, that's so fast now. I did spend a point uh, during the night uh, because I was doing a bunch of gathering. So I figured, uh, why not? Actually, um, instead of doing this, let's go down and get, because we have a bunch of iron on us. Let's go ahead and get that smelting. I'm not going to make any more tools or any more steel. What I want right now is iron bars. Get those other two sections done up. Uh, so, yeah, we need some more wood in here. Ah, no. I think that'll burn. I was making uh, whatever bullet tips and stuff I had. Uh, I also made um, some concrete or cement over here. Uh, I guess we could do 200. Um, yeah, we're just gonna take that. and take that 500 and get it started making because we have all the, the stone that we need over here to do that and the sand <laughs> because I haven't put anything up I wanted you to sort of see what I had gathered over the night I did go out and get a bunch of wood and then I came down and started mining and then I went and gathered sand so my tools did take some damage but considering how much stuff I got I think that's not bad that's not that's not even worth repairing over yet so pretty awesome um, yeah so that's gonna, that's gonna take a while to get oh, okay that's all of our stuff and things um, We really need that clay, but man, I need, I need those iron bars. I don't think we're going to get them replaced before the hoard. I'm going to try, but I don't think that's, that's, that's enough for maybe another set, but there's going to be a section, uh, that isn't going to be upgraded. And that's making me nervous, um, because now I'm going to be over a bunch of traps. So if a cop comes and hits it and busts it, which they've done before, uh, so we might want to go ahead. I know that you can um, pick these guys up now, but the thing is I want them to have as many hit points as possible. So if a cop comes by, they can't just destroy them with one breath that it's going to take multiple tries and that might give me a chance to uh, avoid it or, you know, not have to worry about it at all. Plus, I'll need to be repairing them before I can pick them up anyway. There must be a cat outside the window. <laughs> so, uh, let's make sure this one looks clear. This one. Yeah. I just want to make it a little bit uh, more durable for uh, because I, I, more than likely I'm not going to be able to replace these just yet. Uh, oh, yeah, so we'll want to do those guys up. Plus, eventually, I want to um, replace all of these even on the outside edge here with um, with the iron bars. It's a little bit distracting here in my cat. My cat's having a, a fit over there. Um, 
but I'd like to be able to come out on the edge here uh, and be a little bit less likely to fall off if I have the two wide. Oh man, I'm sorry if you hear the cat. She's hissing, there's a cat outside. Um, and I'm recording, so I can't really get up and go shoo it away. Uh, yeah, so. It'll, I'm sure it'll eventually leave anyway. It really doesn't hang around. It just comes in to, to peep in the window and go, Hey guys, I wish I had a house to live in. That's funny that all the cats outside come and look in your windows and all the cats inside go <laughs> are looking out the windows. Oh, no, I wish I was outside. And the ones outside are going, I wish I was inside. <laughs> It's usually, you know, the case, though. You always want what you don't have. If you have the ability to go outside all the time, you'd be like, eh, outside. Psh. <laughs> so this is the last section here. Got a little bit safer. Um, and I might uh, use that wood railing up here around the edge uh, because you you can see through it. It looks just like the iron bars, only wooden. Um, so that would help keep me from falling over the edge. Um, and I could come out here with a little bit more uh, security, knowing that I'm even less likely to fall over the edge. Uh, the only thing is, is that if I put it up before I replace this uh, with the iron bars, it's more than likely just going to fall. <laughs> it's going to fall uh, once I replace that outer edge. So I might hold off on uh, the wooden rails. Or I think it's just the wooden wood bars. Is what it was called. It wasn't called a rail or a fence. Yeah, wood bars. Let's favorite that because uh, that's kind of cool. Um, we could also do catwalks, but like I said, I want to be able to see through it, and and if you make those, you can upgrade them with iron, but it's still it's going to be like a solid block, uh, and, and I won't be able to, like if some guys come through here and are bound are pounding on my um, ladders on the outside here, uh, I can I can at least stand over here and shoot them, which which is going to be good. Uh, yeah. <sighs> okay, so it's almost the noon o'clock. Noon o'clock, mid-tag. I think we're going to be done with the fence for now, so we can put this up. Uh, we do have some of these guys that were uh, destroyed. I think we already made up all of our ammo that we can uh, with the gunpowder that we had. We don't have any more that's made in here. I already pulled out all the ammo from here. So yeah, that's a thing. Um, we can put all this in here. Um, I'm trying to think. We need like another 500 sand. I heard. Uh, sounded like a screamer. But I think she's going to kill herself uh, on, on our defenses before I can actually get to her. So we're just going to ignore because she won't be able to see us. She actually does make her way in here. I don't know. We'll deal with it. Oh, there she goes. Um. Okay. 
there we go. We can get this 200 queued up as well. Oh, our 500 is ready. And we have more than a stack of cement. Oh yeah, throw that in there. That is awesome. Okay, let's check our... <sighs> Not enough. Not enough. We need 3,300 in there. To... Oh, she got in. Oh, there she is. Yeah, she made it over here and then died. I die. Um, yeah, so we're not going to be able to get those uh, railings. So what, what I think I want to do is I want to come in here and on the corners reinforce it. At least um, these bottom two blocks. For the corners. Um, so I think that's really going to be uh, where the brunt of the assault is going to land. If it doesn't, I'll be pleasantly surprised. How's that? <laughs> and we'll see how much uh, concrete we have left. Hopefully this will dry before the horde gets here. We already accidentally upgraded that one. But this should um, usher them towards the center again because they'll see, oh, this is reinforced concrete. We don't want to jack with that. All right, so maybe we'll go ahead and we'll do um, these blocks that we can get right here. Can't get the ones on the corners, uh, but we can reach these guys. So let's go ahead and upgrade those. Oh, it's a little bit hard to get uh, on those, but you can still get to them from the inside, which is nice uh, without having to like get over here so that's nice I like it uh, that I can repair both sets the inner and outer from the same side that's awesome I'm so scared I'm so scared there we go okay so how much concrete do we have left 300. That's 30 blocks. I'm trying to think where it would do the most good. I think if I had a next part that would uh, yeah we might have enough let's upgrade these slabs the half slabs the half blocks uh, that's 32 but I think we accidentally upgraded a couple of them so maybe we'll get them done maybe we'll be one short <laughs> again we don't want them in their base but if they have to come in I want to ah yeah we're one short we had 309 we should have the the concrete ready to upgrade that last one though yeah oh wow we're our crafting is getting so much faster you sh that used to take a lot longer all right here's the last one Whew. dry 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 <laughs> I keep, I keep seeing, you know, some that are already dry and I'm thinking, oh, look, it's already drying, but it's not. Those are ones that I accidentally upgraded 
before. Let's check on our iron. I doubt we're gonna have 3,300. It's getting close, 2,000. I think we'll have enough eventually to do another section once this all gets smelted, but I don't think we'll have enough to get that last one, which is unfortunate. Oh, and that one is ready. Um, yeah, and that should be less than a minute. There we go. We just have that 100 left. And I think uh, we, we have 3,400, uh, but I think I'm going to let that, I'm going to sit on it. I'm going to sit on my stone uh, until after the hoard. We got another 1,000-ish. Uh, no, we don't. We have only hundreds. Uh, hopefully, we'll just keep what we have for repairs. This is almost done, so we'll go ahead and queue up that. Turn the fire off. Save our six wood. There we go. Um, we can go up, I guess, and replace those. I'd really like to get that clay out of there, but we need it. Oh my god, once the clay is gone, I'll split that stack up and it'll smell a little bit faster. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I was, oh, really want those iron bars up there. Lickety splits. Dry, oh, I think that one dried. I know that one was already there, but... I think that one dried. I think that one dried too. Yes, yes, it's dry now. <sighs> yes, okay. Um, let's go try to repair some of our, uh, replace some of the spikes that got broken in this corner over here. Because I know, uh, well, there's three missing. And, oh, nerds, you kidding me? <laughs> I accidentally uh, upgraded that. I meant to do the spike. It's so hard. It's so hard to get targeted on the right thing. Uh, looks like we got everything over here. Let's go check the one over here. Uh, that's the one where the... No, because it's this other one. And we'll make uh, one last trip. Oh, here's where she was. I didn't get the barbed wire fence up around the corners like I was wanting to... Uh, so let's make a trip on the outside. We don't have very many spikes left, but we we have tons of wood, so we can make more if we need to. Um, replace these guys, and then we'll go in and uh, we'll start getting ready, get our ammo and stuff ready. Okay. I think all this stuff looks good. Like this is not gonna be a very big deterrent for them at all. I wish I had more, I wish I had more stuff out. Um, we're definitely, after this one, we're gonna look into making generator banks, getting power, getting dart traps, because I think we're, uh, we're definitely going to need it. I'm not even going to look at the barbed wire. They're, they're doing all right. I don't see any that look too terribly bad. And I believe that's it. we got five spikes left. Um, Woohoo! 
No, I don't. I was gonna say I was gonna make eight and then put them like here to keep them out, but I don't want to. Like I said, I don't want to block those in case I do happen to fall down. It's gonna be treacherous enough. If I fall down in the middle, that's more than likely gonna be my death. If I fall down here, because then I'll have to go through those traps and and deal with the zombies. So. You know, it might be wise to put like um, a door in each one of these sections so that I can get out and then get up the ladder. And that might also draw them away from the interior part and have them again focusing their efforts on this outside wall, which is funny. Uh, that might be something I put in after this hoard because I don't think I'm gonna have time. Uh, to install doors. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, it's 14 o'clock. We're gonna get tons of ammo. Uh, let's go ahead and put our traps away. Put our traps down here. Um, we're gonna keep these things on us to repair with. Because uh, there shouldn't be that much loot. If there is, we're not going to go down there to get it unless we're in the cage. Things settle down and it looks like I can go in there and, and melee some stuff. We might actually be able to get a bag drop. If it drops, we might be able to reach it from the inside of the cage. I was trying to listen see if I heard uh, we'll also try and try these out again uh, these take uh, um, gunpowder so I might focus on this since we have oil and um, yeah we're gonna want to repair that guy already got tons of hit points. Look at that. We're probably going to have to make some more repair kits. Let's go ahead and repair it up full. Yeah. Um, again, we're probably not going to need our tools. If we do, I think we're already in trouble. <laughs> um, the nail gun will be to repair if we can. If not, okay. So, again, I think we're going to... I guess we'll go ahead and we'll get these. Although I don't... See, look at that. I've only gotten like... 8 44 magnums. I don't even know if it's worth getting the shotgun out. For 33 ammo. Um, it might be worth it to keep it on us in case we do fall down. And we can possibly... You know, recover. Uh, you know what I mean. Okay, I think that's all we need, but it looks like we need more repair kits, and I think... I think those take duct tape, duct tape, and oil, and iron, and cloth. Everything else should be in here. Whoa. Uh, definitely going to have to go out looting more. So we're going to need like 10 more cloth. 
to make that into duct tape. And then, replace it. Okay, I feel a little bit better. Those of you making up. Are those some? Um, yeah, those are going into my inventory. We have, um, I made up some med kits. We got this blood draw kit, and I did up like five of them. The rest of them we pretty much looted. Um, we have 10 first aid bandages on us, which is good. Maybe we'll pop painkillers. Okay, how much does this heal? This heals 180, so that's pretty much wasted on us. Because we only have 120. Uh, but these give 40 health and 10% damage mitigation. Uh, so we might want to try to stick to these pills. Although we can't... I don't think we can... Can we make painkillers? No. So... We can always make these first aid kits. The only thing is it like it takes a duct tape. It does take a duct tape, uh, a bandage, a grain alcohol, and a blood draw kit. Um, the duct tape being the most precious part of it because we can mass produce the other things. Like I can, as long as I got drink, I can get the blood. Um, Let's go ahead and repair this M, uh, SMG. And I think we'll be good. Um, what kind of... Uh, we got a, a skill point. Oh, we can do... There are tier 4 and tier 5. Um... Uh, this gets us the advanced firearm ammunition, so I'm guessing that steel. Now you can craft rocket and advanced fuels. Can use tier 4 schematics. Well, we don't have any tier 4 schematics, but we definitely have some tier 3. I don't know if any of them are useful, but um, let's see. In my perception, I don't think I can... I can't put any more points into this or the dead eye. Uh, I'm going to have to get up to I think seven or is it six it's level seven for that Level seven for that so even if I put that point in there I won't be able to do it or no I think I want to get the yes yeah science because we got a bunch of tier three schematics that we can look at to improve our stuff um, What is, uh, let's look at this one. Oh, I think maybe for an automatic weapon, does that cut it down to semi-auto? Or is that upgrade like a, a pistol to be semi-auto instead of just, I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's unclear, so I don't... Oh, that sounds like a vulture out there. We don't really need to worry about not making sound with our armor. This, schematics are, this might be something that we put in our armor, though. Because uh, this will, I, I think it reduces, let's look at it, look at what it says. Double storage pocket decreases encumbrance penalty by two by installing this modification into your armor uh so it looks like it only decreases the encumbrance uh so if you have stuff in here you're less encumbered not that it's going to actually give you slots but you'll be less encumbered by it which is awesome but i don't think it's relevant for the board so we're gonna we're gonna hold off on that so now we have the scope. Um, 
I don't know that I like an eight times scope though. I've and I think this can only be used in heavy armor. Um, what is this? Uh, ergonomic grip. So this might be something we could put on our weapon. Decreases stamina usage by 20%. Oh, that would be something nice to put on the freaking hammer. Um, but, um, I think we'll go ahead and make it. We'll have to go get some steel, though. Five steel. That's not too bad. Five glue, five mechanical parts, ten springs. Um, that's nothing that we don't already have. And I hear that vulture around is probably going to be... I might want to go deal with that uh, before the horde comes, so... Oh yeah, look at that. It's, I don't know if it's going to be enough. Plus we got to make five steel because I want this on a weapon. I don't know if it goes on like a gun or a, a melee weapon. But I would think if it's stamina usage, it, that might only be used in like the hammer. Oh no. Okay, let's go deal with the stupid buzzer, make our grip, see what we can put it in. Um, it would, uh, I don't know. Buzzy. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Oh, shoot. Look what just came up. There we go. Uh, maybe if we go on top, we'll be able to see that. I know that having that rail there is going to be a bonus and uh, a curse and a blessing. Because I'll be able to drop down from above. Um, it's going to be a curse because I'm going to try to drop down from above one time and actually overshoot and land on the bottom and take damage and die. See, look at that. Um, you know, I heard it. But I don't see it anywhere. So let's not waste any more time. Let's just go back down. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pop one of these bandages because we're down just a tiny hair. Okay, so what what is it going to take? Uh, five glue, five mechanical parts, and ten springs. You can remember that, right? Blue. Ooh, we're gonna have to definitely go break down some parts, some cars. Because we're low on lots of stuff. I think you have to make that here. Or let's crap that baby up. Awesome. Okay, so what was left? It was like, um,. Something I think that's going to be for a mining or dismantling thing. Um, this was the iron breaker. It sounds like something uh, you would put on like a pick. So like, or a hammer as you're breaking down metal. But, so I don't know. I don't I don't know if I want to, that's not going to help me in the horde, I don't think, so. But let's look at this one. It takes 10 forged steel. Oh, it's going to duct tape. Uh, 
Can only be installed in heavy armor. We don't have heavy armor, so uh, let's not worry about that. What about the the scope? It would be nice to be able to scope with my uh, marksman rifle. It does not come with the scope now. I would like probably something less than eight times, but I'm hoping it's adjustable. Oh, damn, forged steel. Are you kidding me? And broken glass? We don't have any broken glass. Um, but we might have time enough to use it. So, let's see. What can, can we... Yeah, that goes in... It will go in the machete. What about... Can I put it... Can I put it in... It will not go in the marksman rifle. Can I put it in... No. So it looks like it's going to be melee weapons only. So uh, we'll definitely put that in there. Because that's going to also increase our damage a little bit more. So that's good. So And it'll reduce our uh, stamina cost. So that's from 14 to 11. Which is nice. It's minus 3. Uh, so that might be something, you know, to put in the hammer. As well, I don't know that I want to. I don't know that I want to make this other one. It's going to take 10 steel. That's going to get us further from getting. Yeah, we don't even have enough. So let's go ahead and make the 10 steel. Because uh, I think. Um, Putting this in there should still increase our damage a little bit more with uh, the sniper rifle. So that'll be good. Because um, we need all the help we can get. Oh my gosh. There we go. Let me just turn that off. So um, that is one advantage that you have. Uh, look, all of our upgrades have dried. Excellent. Oh, I'm so happy. It's 17 o'clock. Um, what were we doing? We were making this scope. And it's going to take uh, five glue. Oh, we need the broken glass. That's right. So we need to take a little bit of sand down there to melt. Uh, not that much. Maybe 200. Uh, and we'll just go ahead and make the rest in the glass. Uh, I mean, into, into Jar Jars. Uh, oh, it's got extra on it because we... Okay, so how much broken glass was it? 20. Uh, broken glass, broken glass. So it looks like it takes five for each one. Every time it ticks, it's going to get ten. Or every time it melts, it's going to get ten. So that's two. Just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Twelve. Fourteen. 16, 18, and 20. Wrap that up. Oh, that's so fast. Awesome. Don't have to wait long for that. 
Excellent. Okay, the rest of that we'll worry about later. Uh-huh. Because it's just going to be jars. Um, and we need to put some glue. And I think plastic. Let's look again. Five glue, ten plastic. Oh, we don't have the glue available. We do have bones, though. Uh, so, let's just make... Oh, actually, we only needed five. So, let's just make what we need, since I know we're... Oh! Okay, we'll just make four, and we have another glue over there, so... Oh, I had a... Why, you know, maybe you had one gunpowder stuck in there. No. No bad gunpowder. You go there. And there we go. We got another glue over here. Whew. Okay, we can get this done. We can get this done. I'm just... I'm hoping that it's it's adjustable uh, so that because uh, I don't know that I'll like the eight times magnification that's gonna take a few seconds um, we don't have a lot of oil to spare for those marble top cocktails we've got six left and uh, those are needed for the repair kits so I don't know that 10 seconds. Let's wait and see. Uh, right now we're at 62 damage. That's a little bit of a jump from uh, our other one. Modify. Oh yeah. So now we got Cripplum, the muzzle brake, which reduces the recoil. Uh, also, it gives us a little bit more damage. So this one's going to give us six more damage, plus put a scope on there. So yeah. Awesome. All right, let's go. Uh, Oh, I didn't have it loaded. I don't want to waste a bullet on you, Joker. Get down here, buddy. I need you. Yeah, I hate those guys. They never come down until, like, uh, maybe if I go into my inventory, he'll come down. Oh, look, I'm looking in my inventory. I'm distracted. I really would like to have him out of the way by the time the horde gets here. It's 18 o'clock. Maybe we'll go up and see if he'll come down from up there because he probably doesn't think he can get a very good angle on us over at the other underneath. Here I am. Here I am. I'm farming. Don't you want to come attack me? Come down. Oh, he moved right to the last second. I hate vultures. I hate them. Oh, change trajectory. Your number's up, buddy. Oh, 
wasting my freaking arrows on this guy. Yes! Wonder if I can hit him without, um, yeah. Oh, that's only like one hit to kill him too with the machete. I love my machete. Oh! oh, food and drink. We'll definitely want to take some food and drink with us. Um, I know we don't need all this, but I'm so nervous. I'm going to take it anyway. We're going to use one of those right now. And that will fill us up. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab all of our freaking arrows too. I have a feeling I'm going to need them. Need all the ammos. Um, we have zero skill points. <laughs> I feel like um, I should have more in hit points and more in stamina by now. Uh, but at the same time, I feel like, well, what else would I have not want to have? I really um, think pretty much everything that I've taken so far has been necessary. I haven't really, I mean, I like Better Barter and the Daring Adventure. I like to put points there, but I haven't because I've put them elsewhere. The Master Chef was awesome because we have some really good food that we might even, might actually want to like put one or two of those on us as well. It's 18 o'clock, oh my god. Breathe, breathe. Um, I guess if we gotta set the Let's um, come down here. I'm so nervous that uh, let's go ahead and craft up our jar jars. Find the other one. Yep, we're a little 500 shy of getting that 3300. And that does have enough time there. So that's good. We got all that going. We got some cement over here. Yes, we do. Get that on us. We got repair kits for our weapons, uh, first aid kits and bandages for us. Um, I think I want to, while we start off, we're going to try to get, no. Let's start off with some all top cocktails on our bar. Um, and possibly even, we probably won't need this right off the bat, so maybe we'll, uh, okay, so in an emergency, we get chunk, uh, fall through, and maybe it'd be nice to have that boost there. That's number seven. I gotta get used to that, because it, in, uh... Well, it's probably going to be a little bit laggy with all the Zomberts coming around. Look, we're missing... Oh, we're missing a spike there. What happened? Everything's wrong. We're missing a spike. Oh, we can't do the horde. Can't do the horde. We're missing a spike. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, the crickets have come out. It's 19 o'clock. I'm going to take this opportunity to wipe my eyes. I have like a little moist paper towel, wet paper towel, and I sort of wipe on my eyes because they're still watering and burning, even though I haven't, uh, I don't have to take the chemo anymore. It's still under the side effects. Hopefully they'll go away soon, but I've read that 
it can take, uh, you know, as long as a year or two, uh, sometimes as short as a couple of months. That's what I'm, I'm hoping for, is that I don't have to deal with this for years. Uh, then I only have to deal with it for a couple more months, and then I'll be all better. Oh, I, I feel like I should be doing something more than just standing around waiting. Um, like, I, I feel like there should be something here. Like, maybe we could put a couple rows of spikes in there. Oh, that, that felt like a, a spawn lag. And I thought, you know, sometimes I just get some weird lag. And I'm like, what the heck? Was that a zombie spawning? And what I think it might be, I know from Alpha 16, that you had lag when, like, the trees were growing. And I have a lot of trees over there. And I cut a bunch down and replanted them. And now, look, they've grown to 300. And uh, they're all bushy and stuff. So maybe that's where that little bit of lag is coming from as well. I don't know. I like um, being able to view all my traps up here. I'm hoping to get more. And uh, maybe what we'll do at these gaps is install some electric fences. Wouldn't that be cool? Um, to sort of zorch them. You can see my arrow is still sticking up there. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I can't get it from the bottom though. Um, yeah, that would be kind of cool, but then we'd have to protect our electrical devices. And I really want minimal stuff out there. So maybe we'll have it, um, as they come in closer, we could have some little uh, towers out here with electric fence, fence sign, fences, oh, 1930, oh my god. It's both at the same time crawling and speeding along at super fast rates. Well, I'm really glad that we're able to corral them to these corners uh, with something so cheap as this fence. Whoever had that idea was just brilliant. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about me. I know. Um, it's not... I, like I said, I'd really like to do more with this. Um, they seem to get through the spikes um, a lot faster. So we may like take those spikes out altogether and just put the barbed wire fence so that they're just bogged down in those corners for as long as possible. Uh, because the barbed wire fence has much greater uh, durability. Although it is nice to sort of have those spikes there for when the stupid screamers come. So it's it's almost worth it just for that to leave them those couple rows of spikes there in case a screamer comes and she can off herself on the spikes. Speaking of which, it's about time for a wandering horde to come along, like it did last horde night. Like, right, uh, actually, it would probably be too early, because I might actually get them killed before nighttime if they spawn now. So, <laughs> yeah, last time it was like five game minutes till 22 o'clock when, when the... Uh, Wandering horde spawned right over here. So not only did I have to deal with them, but I had to deal with them as they were running. So hopefully um, we've prepared. Let's make sure everything is loaded. This one's not. There we go. There we 
we go. Can can I back that off? I can zoom in. Oh, okay. So you can zoom in further, but I don't think that's too bad. I can see that like bird's nest right there. So I don't think that's bad at all. So we got 289 bullets for our sniper rifle, 218 for our SMG, and 31 for the shotgun. Of course, there is eight in in the shotgun and 30 in here, but only five in there. So we're doing really good. Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to hit our marks. and deal with those guys lickety split. I don't know about the Molotov cocktails. Uh, I, I, I would like to pick them out before they get here, but you know, that's really hard to do since they're gonna be running. It's 20 o'clock, oh my gosh, 20 o'clock. <laughs> I should be doing something, but I'm too nervous to. Um, I'm so nervous. Uh, last time I got into death loop, I had to spawn near my bed instead of on my bed because the dudes were in my base, uh, snacking on my face. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so like. I died to a cop out here. No, it was actually in, in the cage towards the outer edge. And then I came back underneath and then the inside was wood and dirt. So they just dug down like almost immediately. I didn't know they had destroyed those blocks. I thought they were just literally spawning in my base in in the underground in the under there <laughs> and I was like what the crap what do I do so I died like I don't know three times total once to the cop which is okay and then once I died twice in that room I was like uh, I can't do this again there's no way I can kill him because I spawn in naked and bleeding and there's no way for me to kill him. Uh, the second time I came back naked, I started punching him. And I actually got, uh, I think, one of them dead before I died. So that was kind of cool. <laughs> punching him in the face with my fist. But there were so many of them that I couldn't do enough damage fast enough. Oh, it's 2030. Hoping this is uh, sufficient. Now, what what I want to do is try to if they if they're coming from this end, I think I want to try to pull them over and only look over here, not actually go on there. That way, I'm on my iron bars, and then for over here, I'll try to pull them this way so that I might not fall down <laughs> from a cop breathing on it. I don't remember having to deal very much with cops uh, this early on in Alpha 16. Um, I think it was like at least depending on how far you had progressed at the most, you would see maybe one on day 14. Most likely day 21. But at the soonest, you would see it on day 14 and maybe just one. Uh, but now I like guys had four on day, on the day seven horde, which they all wound up exploding. So I didn't do too very well. I didn't have uh, any guns though, I don't believe. If I did, I had very, very little ammo. So it wasn't as useful as it sounds having weapons. 
Uh, so I was basically shooting him with an arrow, trying to get him dead. Um, so the hope is maybe that they'll come from one of these two sides. Or, actually it really doesn't matter. Because like I said, I'm probably going to try to drag them around to these sides. I probably won't get a choice in them because they're probably going to hang up and start uh, destroying these wooden walls and then start running around everywhere like crazy idiots uh, because the whole like path through uh, go around my uh, traps probably if I was a zombie I would I would cut through go around and then come back over here uh, I don't know but I'm not a zombie yet And you know what's weird is I think they really um, they need to change how the infection works because I don't think you die from an infection or maybe there's a chance that you'll die from a stage 2 infection but uh, I haven't been infected that often but one time I got a stage 1 infection and I didn't have the antibiotics um, so I was just working through the night up in the farm here and after the five minutes it just went away. It didn't progress to a stage two so I think there's a chance you can fight off the infection. Uh, so maybe there's a chance you can fight off dying from the stage two. I don't know because I haven't been infected enough to really find out. It's just that the infection seems while it is powerful while you have it, it's a very short duration. I think maybe they should increase the duration. You know, because if you're out and about and you can't, you don't have any antibiotics on you, you can't even make it home in time to get home and take the antibiotic and have it benefit you any. We're going to turn our headlight on because it's starting to get dark and they're going to come after us no matter what. Although we do have the torches down here. Actually, that... That looks like that one's gone. I had... Uh, wow, they're all gone. I think probably from cop explosions so all we have is the two that I just put over here okay so maybe we do want to leave our headlight on I thought we had more lights out here um yeah I don't really know how the the guy spawned in oh it's 21 25 24 26 I'm just hoping that I was prepared enough uh, I wish I could have gotten these iron bars upgraded. I'd, ideally, I'd like to have them all on the outside, but that will happen eventually. Now, what? Are you kidding me? She's over there banging on the door, I think. I think she may be pathing around. See, she she actually came. Oh no, she was in the building. <laughs> yeah, putting a bullet in your brain, lady. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's that buff. Uh, if you do like um, one shot a mob. One shot a zombie, then you get a 10% damage buff uh, for a little bit. That's with the the boom headshot. No, that's with the dead eye, the kill streak. Uh, it's too bad that it. It caps it at 50%. 21.47! G! 
Jiminy Christmas. <sighs> so yeah, it's pretty funny that we had a screamer spawn over there. Um, it wasn't bound, pounding on our door. It was coming out of that garage. So I'll definitely want to uh, tear down these buildings because I think they're too close. Um, they might interfere with um, horde spawns. Oh my god, it's getting red. <sighs> So I'm hoping maybe if I stand over here, that'll force them to come on that side. Hopefully they won't come further out into the desert. I would really like them to come in on this side though. I don't know why. Mm, just wishful thinking. That way I can uh, not have to. Oh my God, it's here. There's a little bit of light. They were. Oh my god, there's already a cop. Oh, he blew up. Okay, good. Oh crap, there's another cop. But oh, we don't want to go over there. Boom, headshot. Uh, no, I missed you. Okay, where are they going? Oh my god, only having five shots is kind of annoying. Did we get you? I think so. I think we got her. She was a feral. That's nice to know that we can one shot. Oh, I missed him. Missed him again. Got him. Yeah, they're on the other side of that fence. Okay, that's having a... Did I not? There we go. Oh, my goodness. Okay, he's going the wrong way. Okay, he exploded. It looks like they're just running on that fence. Being, um, freaking idiots. Okay, the fence may have been a bad idea. Okay, let's back up and hopefully they'll come this way. He's down. He's down, hopefully. Okay, he killed himself. Then we got some guys that ran over this way. Awesome. Okay. Oh, he got back up. He's going for the wall. Oh, nerds. Okay, let's drag him over here onto this trap. Oh, I missed. Okay, that one got him. Oh, she went around the corner. Look at them. They want to go to the wall, not to the middle now. Oh, she did not die. Okay, I think I got her that time. Got one over here. Uh, oh, there's a barrel. Right in the butt. The butt crack. Oh, I think I got him. He was worth 1500 Where are you at, lady? Oh my god, did she... Oh, there's a cop. Oh, 
I heard a cop. Oh, Nikki, now is not the time. Oh, crap. Come on, scoot your boot. I don't see him. There he Oh, God, he's a radiated one. And, of course, I need to reload. Okay, he's down. Oh, we actually killed him. All right, yeah, come over here. No, come. Oh. Yeah, I think those other walls are causing them to, they're pathing to, uh. Yeah, they're not going where I want them to now, so those walls were a bad idea. There you go. Oh, it hurts. She's tough mama. I think we got her. Another. Oh, we didn't. Did I not get you? Yeah, I'm not getting uh, the headshots that I, I, I really wish I was getting. I think you got him. Nope. There we go. Okay, where are they? Uh, maybe if I stand here, I'll lure them around the corner. Ah! I probably would have missed that shot anyway. I think we got him. Oh, there's a barrel! Oh, he's running around the other way. Yeah, they're going, they're going all cattywonk, running around like idiots. They're not really hitting anything, so. Oh, God. There's the cop. Oh, he blew, up, he blew up anyway, but that's okay. Alright, ladies. We got any more cops? Oh, Nurts, he's in. Oh, God, another cop. Killed him. 40 shots to the face should do it. Yeah. Alright, you guys, come down here. Oh, nuts. There's our feral. Oh, they're just being freaking idiots. Look at them. See, they're doing like I said. They're they're going through the hole in the wall that they made to the outside to get around. But then they're having to go around these walls. So uh, we could use that to our advantage since we know they're going to do that. And it looks like they're sticking to, like, running right next to the fence. Oh, jeez. Do you see that? They're trying to tempt me. Stay down. You know, you think he'd be easier to hit with his big fat freaking head. Booty up!
Oh, Jesus. You're kidding me. Freaking 11 gold. <laughs> okay, but I was able to loot it. He knows, he knows I want to beat that bag. I know. She's coming down for that bag, I know it. See what idiots they are? Yeah, I want to get him gone so I can maybe... Oh, I'm wasting my shots. That. There's another barrel. Oh, there's a dog. Just open up on the That sounded like another cop. Oh, it's a barrel! It's a radiated cop! Oh, jeez! He's gonna explode! Got him! Stop running around like an idiot! Oh, it's... It's O four zero O four. Dance, dance. I don't know if that's it. Oh, there's another cop. Oh, I bet, I bet I could get it if I, oh man, I bet they're under, they're in, they have a hole. that bag. <laughs> Let's go out here. Yeah. 
that one. Oh, they just be an idiots. Look at them. Come into my trap, mister. You lady. They just want to run over the spikes. You guys come over here and get right in the butt. Take that. I know there's a vulture out here, but... Definitely need to put some spike, uh, some fence over there. Look, that bag is still there. Yeah, yeah they're going in. Get a these guys dead. He's dead. I don't know if any more are spawning. Got him in the butt. Oh yeah, look. They broke through the fence. I think in their. Um... Oh, I think a cop blew up there. Yeah, you guys come over here. I. Stay down. I think I got him. Got him. I think that back no nope, that back is still down there. They finally broke that barbed wire fence. Gotcha. Just don't get the shot. Say super tool break or I have no idea. They have, yeah, they look at that. They didn't, uh, they went through those sections that I didn't have reinforced, so they're definitely finding the weak spots. Can get up? No, okay. I think they're still bombing. Buff for oh that's the kill streak oh god there's a cop yeah they're still spawning Let's get off the wood oh there he went farting all over the place. monkey. I hate those guys. Oh, I hate spider monkeys. 
Oh. Oh, it's a radiated spider monkey. Probably inside, inside my base. There they are. Yeah, you guys come over here. Oh, there's, there's such freaking idiots. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is the... Uh... this way our blocks haven't taken any damage hopefully we'll come over here and quit spazzing out there we go can't really get a good headshot on him there we go we got another taker Now he's running away! Got him! Got him before he got away. I <laughs> see the, the sides that I wanted them on, they're not on. I think they're just going to the base. They sort of like this side, I guess because it's got that, um... does have the hole in it, so they're drawn to that weak part. He's dead. Quit hitting him. I'll just wait for him to run out. Okay, I think they're... Oh, see, every time I reposition myself, they change. Got you. Shoot them while they're down, even though I can't get a headshot. I got one. 
Bust you in kneecaps, mister. Many of them are like, I think they're, they're going in. Oh, I was gonna get her in the butt. Right up, Marine Street. Man, are they still coming? Frustrating, very frustrating sound here. It's definitely a lot harder to hit them. They're not running around in a circle, you know, but they're running around. Gotcha, bucko. Every time you like reposition, they run in a different direction to try to get to you. Dead. Ah, nuts! Missed my shot because I had to reload. I'll take a foot shot over no shot. There you go. Yeah, there's still tons of them. Oh, look at that. Stay there. Oh! Gotcha, bud. Two more reloads. Oh, they just don't seem like they're right in the dang dang. You staying down? Yep. Oh, see, like, even as I aim at them, they reposition. And it seems like they're just still coming. As I come out, they go in. As I go in, they come out. Gotcha. Oh, I can't get him. Gotcha. I think I got him dead, yeah. Okay. 
All right, out of ammo. I can't believe I went through that much freaking ammo. He was a barrel. I really want to get that bag, but there's way too many of them out there still. Oh! There we go. It's almost uh, daytime. I can't even see them. I think they're all just milling about in the base. Most I can hope for is to knock them down so I can actually hit them. Oh, Jesus Christ. How did I miss him? Okay, um, it's almost four o'clock, uh, so I think we're gonna go ahead and call the episode here. I'm gonna try to clean these guys up, and <laughs> we're gonna pick up in the next video, uh, with the aftermath. So anyway, uh, <laughs> we're gonna call it here. We'll see you next time, um. We definitely saw some of the advantages and disadvantages of those new walls. Uh, so we'll try to think of something else to do or something to add to it to make it better. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.